In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi's down or something. Is that relevant, Bags? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke or you just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. I've been monitoring the drone network. Mary Kelly has finally sent out the invitations to her slave market sale. Dead sec. It's Caitlin Lau. This is your specialty. Hack one of those drones and get the location where she's selling those poor microchipped people. Let's put an end to this. Well, that was simple, even for you. Give me a moment to decipher the security codes. So, Bagley, what do you have? Mary Kelly is holding her sale at Hackney Baths. Opened in 1904, it was, as the name implies, a public sanitation facility. In today's more enlightened modern times, it's a slave trading market. She mentioned foreign investors, so this is big. It means associates, clients, employees, anyone remotely involved in her organization. We're taking Mary Kelly down from within. Inspector Lau wants to take her case against Mary Kelly to a contact in the Attorney General's office, which means gathering as much data as we can to make sure it has the leverage needed for them to prosecute. The microchips are a huge part of this equation that we know almost nothing about. We need something tangible about these things. See if you can find anything. Blueprints, receipts, samples. So, the plan is simple. Crash the Kelly's soiree, find out as much as you can, and, minor detail, try not to get killed. Can't be too careful at the bath team. Mary can kill all her captives with the push of a button. If we try to free them now, they're good as dead. She doesn't know we're on to her yet. That gives us the advantage. What now? Don't just blunder in. Hack the building's CTOS hub and see what to expect once you're inside. Good idea. I'm in. Get all the names, places, dates, whatever information you can in there. We need to build this case. And find a way to free those people. All right, I'll see what I can find. Aye, no one's here yet. Good thing, too. The champagne's right. And you know how these French bastards like free blanc. Weaned up the teeth with it. Yeah, products lined are ready for sale, no worries. Nah, not for this lot, at least. Which is fine with me. She's the boss and all, but... Uh, exactly. <laughs> Always on eggshells when she's around. Come on, look at the camera. Straight! Right, that's good. Stand up now, and slowly turn around. I, I, I don't want to do this, please. Get your fucking ass up. Fucking miserable. There's no way this bastard will sell. The buyers expect high quality stuff. All right then, get him downstairs. We'll update the catalog and put his stats no, online. No, I, I'm sorry, I'll do what you say. <laughs> Don't take me there, no! Shut the fuck up! Bollocks. What the fuck? We should take a gander. 
Chances are good the basement will be locked. Chances are equally good that one of these knobheads left their access codes laying around somewhere. Thanks for the cellar key, knobhead. Brilliant. Bloody hell does this. For the record, my version of a fun night involves a very different meaning of the word servant. This is fucking disgusting. Keep your head. If we try anything before disabling the microchips, Mary Kelly is liable to purge her inventory. Add decades with a new heart. Kidneys, lungs, cornea. The Golden Goose offers a full range of merchandise sourced pre-mortem from the healthiest stock, ensuring maximum viability. Because health shouldn't be an obstacle to your ambitions. Well, that's the bloody Golden Goose, all right. Mary Kelly has set up a fucking online marketplace. A one-stop shop for every fucking villain out there. Black market organs, guns, humans. We need to stop them. I suggest washing your hands after this. Well, here's something yes, interesting. Yes. Why is our explosive ship delayed? You've received the crypto. Every penny, love. 
Must admit, I thought you were some trolls chatting shit in Mum's basement. And what do you think now? I think you're well funded. And my organisation could be implicated in something quite ghastly. I think the price just doubled. True to your reputation. But we can offer you something more valuable than money. <laughs> What's that then? Power. We can make you the Queen of London. Queen, eh? A queen is sovereign. Autonomous. Unchecked. Release our shipment, and London will be yours to rule. Oh, I know a good deal when I hear one. Fireworks are on the way. Careful you don't burn yourselves now. Uh, this is the nail in her coffin. Mary Kelly supplied the explosives for the bombings. Add that to the slaves and the organ market. She is done. That's an interesting turn of events. So Mary isn't Zero Day, but she's involved. I have to admit, Zero Day's plan to cover their tracks was clever, and it worked. Even I didn't suspect this, and I suspect a lot of things. Let's not lose sight of what we're doing here. We need everything on the Golden Goose for Caitlin's case. Bagley, were you able to recover any data? This is a simple market site. I've recovered inventory lists, but not much that will help Inspector Lau's case. Bagley, we need to find the website service. We can take the information Caitlin needs and shut this down before it goes fully online. I'd love to, but the servers are rudely jumping all over the world. They're probably using a shuffle protocol or some kind of mixed net. I can work it out, obviously, but it will take me a few days. The bloke upstairs greeting those arseholes seems like he was king shit. Might save us some time. Here! 
One more from our collection. <laughs> Dead sec. We need that server data. Once we have it, I'll take it to the Attorney General's office. Mary Kelly is going Auto down for now all of this. Listen. We can't leave the servers or the microchip control relay running. If we shut it down, everyone who's been chipped gets free. Next stop, NeoGate. It seems Mary hid the Golden Goose service in the heart of a cybersecurity software company. I don't condone her actions, but I must applaud the method. 